Okay, well, this is my latest gadget here called the Trembler. And what does the Trembler do? Well, I recently got into pouring molds for uh, some chess pieces that I'm selling. And uh, I wanted a machine that would uh, vibrate the molds to take the air out of them. And, of course, the commercial ones, uh, they're stupid in price, a couple hundred bucks. And uh, So I've done some research on the Internet, and I, I looked around, and what they do is actually put a counterweight on the end of a the shaft of a motor and uh, that's what causes the, the bouncing around. Well, I didn't have any small motors and, and I uh, <clears throat> didn't want to put one on a great big honking motor and have a great big huge unit again so I give, uh, give some thought to it and what I come up with I said well why in the heck can't I use a little palm sander? And I happen to have a skill, a two amp uh, a skill palm sander that I never use. I like the orbitals, not the ones that shake back and forth. And this thing is a, is a real shaker. It actually says on the side of it 32,000 shakes per minute. <laughs> of course, that would shake the whole house down. I, I knew that. But uh, anyway, what I did is I tore the actual uh, uh, <clears throat> sander apart cut it all up, cut the handle off it. There used to be a, be a handle mounted right here. There used to be a dust collector here. I just took a hacksaw and whacked it all off. And then I mounted the actual bottom of this, tore the rubber mats off that are on there for your sandpaper, and uh, screwed that right solid into this piece of plywood up here that you see. And um, once that was screwed in there, then I put four little rubber feet all the way around the unit. Uh, that way it uh, would cushion the, the vibration there when it started to vibrate. And these pegs, I actually put those in because when I first tried it, the thing started spinning around. There was so much vibration, so I put these in and that locks it actually into place. But uh, it works fantastic. Um, when I first turned it on, of course, it was... Uh, I thought the whole house was going to come down, but I did remedy that. And to operate this thing, all you do is you just set this uh, back into the uh, frame here, and you'll see that it drops right down nicely there. And uh, my on-off switch used to be located right here. Well, that was a waste of time because using this thing at full speed uh, is just way too much power. So my solution, real simple. Because that's a brush motor, it has brushes in it, I went down and purchased a real cheap $7 um, dimmer switch, the type you use for lights. And I wired that into the unit, and the results were, were awesome. So the whole purpose of this now is to simply take my molds. There's no material in this one, but when I pour the material into the mold, I can then set it into the boxes here, turn the unit on, and it'll vibrate. And there's nothing for you to see vibrate here, so what I did is I poured a little water into a, a mug here, and uh, I'm going to turn it on. And you'll be able to see it vibrate there uh, as I turn it on. And the faster the force that you go, the more vibration that you get. Um, turn it off there real quick. But anyway, it works fantastic. Uh, I can pour my molds. A really, really cheap build because I did have the other uh, thing there. My friend actually built the boxes for me. Very nice of him to do that. And then I just insert uh, the rest of the stuff. But these are the chest pieces that I'm now molding. Um, I've carved this set many, many times. It's called the Lewis uh, chest set. Uh, the molded pieces uh, from the British Museum sell for about 500 pounds, which is about $900. Well, I'm selling mine for a couple hundred bucks, so people really like them. My carved sets, of course, were way out of the normal person's budget. But anyway, folks, that's in introduction to my new machine that I've named the Trembler. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want, you can always contact me at the Laser Guy. That's all one word: T H E L A S E R G U Y at Kojiko, C O G E C O dot C A. So, hope you enjoyed this. Have a good day.